can you spot the Stealth F-35 fighter jet as it would appear on your unzoomed cell phone while flying 30 kilometers away in this photo? Well, by using this pixel motion voxel projection technique, I can tell you with absolute confidence that it's this tiny little smudge right here without even needing to use AI and all the information I needed to be able to find it was a few low resolution videos just like these from a few cheap wide angle cameras. Not only that, but this technique can also be used to easily detect any drones from a few kilometers away, which you can see here with the little lines that dissect each other and entirely overhaul the way that we can find and predict asteroids that can level entire cities without warning. So the first step in pixel to voxel projection is to determine what pixels we want to select for when we project them into the voxel grid and since at this distance F-35s will only be a few pixels across, instead of trying to recognize them we can use our knowledge that fighter jets tend to, you know, move to help determine where in the image the fighter jet is by subtracting the colors from where it was before from where it is now in a sequence of images, leaving us with an image that only shows how much each pixel's color value changes from the movement of objects between each frame, allowing us to notice all sorts of previously hard to see details. The problem with this is that on a 2D image, it is pretty much impossible to tell whether this motion is from a slow moving close by bird or a far away fast moving F-35. But if we take these images and project a ray from each of the pixels back out from the camera in the direction that they were taken from into a grid of voxels and add the motion of that ray's pixel to each voxel it hits and then repeat this from a bunch of different cameras we get this. Because as you add more and more randomly oriented cameras it very quickly becomes statistically impossible that there will be this many high movement rays intersecting into this one spot without there actually being something moving in that voxel to cause it. So even if the image is extremely noisy and there are objects such as birds and flies in front of the camera they will appear as these thin lines that don't hit anything else and very quickly average out especially since you can repeat this for each frame in the video as they move apart. Not only that but it can also run extremely efficiently as pixel to voxel projection is much like a bunch of pandas walking atop railway tracks and that it's an embarrassingly parallel problem as it's basically minecraftified ray tracing and my code already only takes a second of run on my PC off of a single CPU thread so once you use a graphics card for this instead of using it to mint the just one more NFT needed to establish true crypto libertarianism it should run in real time even off of a potato. Pretty much the only slightly hard part about using this is finding out the camera's orientation since small errors in orientation will add up over large distances but even this is trivial to fix and thanks to don't ask don't tell, you don't even have to worry about the camera's sexual orientation. I honestly estimate it would only cost at most a few hundred million dollars to be able to detect any F-35 over the entire US from over a hundred kilometers away, so there will be at least a few billion dollars left over for any government contractor to steal his profit to bribe politicians for more contracts to steal from afterwards. And it really wouldn't be that hard to hide these cameras in other countries and on sea boys to know where planes are everywhere in the world. And despite their smaller size, this technique works even better for locating drones, since over shorter distances there will be much less atmospheric distortion, meaning you could use this to cheaply and passively detect any drone within a few kilometers of a camera array, which in particular means it is incredible at detecting any birds that are anywhere near flight paths at airports, which is normally basically impossible to do accurately, but with a few cameras it is now easy to track the precise location of even thousands of small birds down to a few centimeters before they end up in the Hudson River. Not only that, but this is perfect at massively improving our ability to detect asteroids, especially those which are big enough to level entire cities but not large enough to reflect enough light to be detected, which becomes trivial once you apply this technique using telescopes from around the world and especially in space. For example, try and spot the asteroid in this photo, impossible right? Well, normally the way this is done is using our old friend motion extraction to find bright spots as they move across the sky from a single telescope, but if you use voxel projection you can use a parallax which normally prevents you from combining the light from multiple distant telescopes from around the world to your advantage as the small amount of light that the asteroid adds to the noise in the image which would normally get entirely lost as noise will instead get added to the voxel grid and exponentially accumulate statistically in ways that don't even happen with long exposures from single telescopes and that's before you stack these in a sequence I cannot begin to overstate just how much easier it is to detect them with this it would make 
Drake detecting Planet Nine trivial, even using existing telescopes, which I was originally planning on doing, but as much as I want to name it after my cat, it also would take a lot of time to go through the data sets, and after recent tragic events, I realized how good it would be at detecting birds, so I figured I would post this to get the word out before they cause another plane crash. I am planning on making a video where I use this to detect space junk and find asteroids in the near future, but for now all of the code for this will be in the description, and feel free to share this video with your friends. And if anyone watching this has the ability to organize multiple telescopes from across the globe to image an overlapping area in the sky, especially if it intersects a view of the James Webb Space Telescope or Euclid at that moment, can you please send me some of the FITS files? My Twitter is in the description below. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, share it if you want. And I'll see you in the next one.